So suddenly now I'm ogre mom. Abigail didn't say that, did she? Not in so many words, but Nick told her that he couldn't be friends with her anymore because I've been pressuring him to stay away from her. Well, excuse me, but why does some 30-something-year-old man need to be friends with a kid barely out of high school? Hello? No reason. Except reasons that give me the creeps. Right. But you, you can trust Abigail, right? Right. But? But I'm just remembering what it's like to be 18, Carly. Don't you remember? Uh, yeah, you'd better lock her in her room. Carly! Well, here, would you sit, sit on this for me? Thanks. So why don't you just tell Abigail the real reason you don't trust Nick? Well, because he set me up to go to prison? Yeah, that, and that the two of you... Slept together and relive the misery of what we went through with Chris Hughes. I can't. I can't do that, Carly. Okay. No way. It would kill her. I mean, why don't you tell Jake? Uh, I did. I did. And he told Nick not only to butt out, but to pretend like it was his own idea. Ah, Jake. Husband, father, equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> How is it you always know the one word that makes my life seem so much simpler? I have no idea. Okay. That's that. New York, here I come. <laughs> this is so exciting. You back in the fashion world? I don't know. Am I really back in it? Or am I just hiding behind BRO? Behind, around, beyond, doesn't matter. You're where you're supposed to be. Really? Secretly designing for some woman who's sworn to have my head? It's fate. Just look at how many times your and Barbara's paths have crossed, Carly. And you know what? Next stop, Carly Tenney Originals. Think about that. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. So, why do you look like you want to walk a plank instead of a runway? Technically, Molly, it's the models that walk the runway. Ah, yeah, it's a technicality. You're nervous. So tell me, is it Craig or Jack? <clears throat> it's Jack. But it's not what you think. Try me. Carly, come on. I'm not going to let you leave town with a big fat secret. Off the record? Of course. We're family, not a business. This is going to sound completely insane. So when don't we? That's true. Jack has this feeling that something really bad is going to happen to me. That's a hell of a send-off. Why he can't he just wish you luck and let you get on with your life? <laughs> it's, not, it's not that he's being jealous so that he can't move on. It's a gut thing. He's really worried about me. What does he think's gonna happen? Not what? Who? James Denbeck. He's back? Uh-huh. And no matter how many times I tell myself there's absolutely nothing to be worried about, I can't help thinking it. What if Jack's right? My mother didn't see you, did she? Park behind the gardener's shed. Nielsen knows me. You sounded worried in your message. Is it James? Uh, my mother received an anonymous package yesterday. It's one of the dresses Carly designed for the show. Did Barbara realize it was Carly's? No, nope, I let her believe that it was Craig. They were taunting her. I don't know. We, we've been missing that dress since the model auditions at Java, and which means he was there. He, James was there. And two bar stools away, and I didn't. He's getting bolder. Why does he care so much about our New York show? I can heck? make a million guesses, Paul, but it'd be just that guesses. What do you mean to do? Protect your family. I am, Jack. Why do you think I got Carly d d d ghosting for the company? You got my mother convinced to stay here in Oakdale. I, I called you. What do you want from me? Cancel the show. 